Okay, we've got a James Hetfield Explorer. Belongs to Drew Maniscalco of Righteous Sin. And we're replacing the nut on it. The nut, um, what had happened was is that the E string especially dropped below where it should have been and it was buzzing out on the first fret. So once that happens, you really have to replace the nut. And that's what we're doing today. And we're using a very good graphite nut, self lubricating. You can see the old nut's been removed. I have it here. That was the old nut. Let me see if I can pick it up, show you guys quick. That was it. We removed it. Very, very little wood came out. No big deal. And then what we did was we replaced it with this new graphite nut. Taped off the um, headstock really well so that it's not... I do that so that the paint doesn't chip off when you actually remove the nut. You can see how tight we are over here. You can see if we can get this in. See how nice the nut is sitting in there. Give me a nice tight fit. I'm going to do a, a full blown out nut replacement job on another guitar which I'll show you but I just wanted to show you what I was doing for this Explorer. Really nice guitar too. This thing sounds great. It has EMGs in it. Uh, the height of the string off to the first fret, the distance from the top of the fret to the bottom of the string is very very crucial when you're setting action. Uh, this gauge allows me to set the action of the uh, to the first fret very very quickly. What I do is, is I spin this wheel I just lay this block down on top so there's a little piece in here that's pushing up against the string. You can see the, the needle move. It's resting at zero. So when I come across with my, my fingers and I push this first string down to the fret, it's telling me how, how, or how much I'm deflecting. Right now I'm deflecting 20 thousandths. So this string before I put the nut on was perfect and it was around 15 thousandths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shave it just a little bit more to get it down to around where it was before give or take a thousandth of an inch and it should be the way Drew likes it. He's a shredder and he likes to feel those strings close to the frets but it's a, there's always a trade-off between that and getting the you know the buzz out so you don't want so when you're playing and he tunes down to C sharp too so the strings are, have a tendency to be a little bit looser and they have a tendency to slap on the frets so that's why I'm setting it back to the way it was before because that was the perfect height for him and he didn't get any excessive buzz uh, on open strings when he was playing so we're gonna just Kiss this nut again with the file. I'm using these fretting files. Let me show you. Here's the one that I'm using. Okay, I've loosened the string, taken it out of the, I've taken it out of the slot, and I'm just going to come along with the file. You have to make sure not to hit the fret too. It's very delicate, and I'm just going to come across just a little bit, and that should drop the string perfectly. About 15 thousandths of an inch off the top of the uh, first fret. I'm going to tighten it back up. No buzz. Feels really good. No buzz on that first fret. What we're going to do is, is we're going to come along, re zero this out so it's close. And then we're going to flex the string again. Now we're down around 18 thousandths. So I'm going to leave it like this. It feels really good, and I think he's going to like it. And again, leaving it just a tad high there clears that first fret so you don't get buzz. So this is the D string. I still have to do the G, the B, and the E, which was the problem one before. But uh, you can even see how the nut is put in here. It's very tight, and it fits perfectly where the old one was. Again, this is a graphite composite. It's self-lubricating, um, so it doesn't, the string doesn't hang up in the nut when you're tuning it. As the string wears into the nut, it's very hard, too. So as the string wears into the nut, it wears perfectly in the groove and you don't get any tuning issues. Sometimes when you guys tune the guitar, if you hear that little pinging sound, all of a sudden it just goes tink like that. That means that the string is biting in the nut. That's not good. You don't want it to do that. And he was actually having this problem too with this old Gibson nut that he had in here, which was just, he just put a really piece of hard plastic and they don't wear very well. Not like these. These are much better.